Hi guys, today we're gonna do a cute toddler pigtail style. So to start off, you wanna part the hair down the middle and then you're gonna create a small section on the left side using a slanted part. And I'm just going to tie this off with an elastic. Next, I'm gonna create a braid and I'm using Redken Braid Aid to help my braid go together easier. I'll leave a link below in the description box of where you can get this. Now I'm creating a Dutch braid. So in order to do a Dutch braid, it's the opposite of a French braid. Instead of going over, your, bra your braid pieces are gonna go under. So on the left side, or the right side right here, I'm putting the piece under, and then I'm gonna pick up hair from the right side and put that under my braid. Now going back to the left side, hair goes under, picking up hair and adding it under. Go back to the right and add hair under. Now a Dutch braid is a nice braid for a toddler because it stands out a lot more than a French braid and so I just find that um, they look cute in different toddler styles. So I'm gonna do keep adding hair from the side till I get to about where the ponytail is and then I'm just going to continue my braid down the back um, just finishing the three strand braid. Once I get to the bottom of the braid, I'm just going to put a bobby pin in this braid um, since it's going to go in a pigtail later. Then I'm going to part the hair down the middle and then I'm going to create my pigtail in the back. Now with that ponytail I created earlier, all I'm doing is adding some elastic bands to it. Now the trick here is just to make sure once you get the elastic bands in that you kind of push them together so that there's no gaps in your band. Now I'm gonna take the ponytail and the braid that I just created and add those into my pigtail. And then I'm gonna start creating the messy bun by just pulling it through slightly and then I'm just going to kind of wrap the hair around, tuck the ends in, and pull it through my elastic. And then I'll come back to that messy bun later. Now on the other side, I'm just going to repeat the same process, creating an angled um, part, putting in a ponytail, And then I'm just going to put the hair in the back out of the way so it doesn't go into my braid. And then I'm, again, I'm going to be creating a Dutch braid on this side of the head. Now, if your child has flyaways like mine does, um, you can always use spray gel or water to kind of tame them down as best as possible. I know with toddler hair, there's a lot of fine hair that is sticking out of the top usually. And again, once you get to the bottom, just put a bobby pin in that hair. Now, again, I'm gonna go into my ponytail and put in the elastics. Uh, the trick here is making sure that they are about the same height as the one on the other side. Then I'm just going to clip those up, create my uh, pigtail in the back. And then incorporate those uh, pigtail, or I'm sorry, the braid and the ponytail. I'm going to put it around a couple of times and then I'm going to pull the hair through halfway to start forming my bun. 
So I'm just balling the hair up, tucking the ends in, and then I'm gonna put elastic over top. Now from here, I just tug at the hair, and then I'm going to pin it into place with bobby pins, just so it lays flat on the head. And that's it. This style will hold and stay all day long, and it's super cute. If you love this style, please make sure to like and subscribe so that you can see all of our upcoming videos.